Weather together. Nimbus and Kelp were from different worlds. One was from the sky, one was from the sea. But they became friends in the space in between. When they were together, things were all sunshine and rainbows. At least, they seemed to be for Kelp. For Nimbus, on the other hand, things were sometimes a little bit cloudy. Nimbus had grown up surrounded by clouds, but this one was different. She thought about talking to her new friend about it, but she didn't want to cast a shadow on the fun. And there was plenty of fun to be had on land, enough that no one seemed to notice Nimbus's occasional shift in weather. Nimbus didn't know why she couldn't be sunny all the time. It seemed so easy for everyone else. She tried pretending the cloud wasn't there. She tried running from it. She tried bottling it up, but the more Nimbus tried to get rid of it, the bigger and more noticeable the cloud became. It grew and grew until something small became something big. The storm that had been brewing finally burst forth, and this time it seemed like everyone noticed. Nimbus flew away as fast as she could, which was very fast indeed, hoping to find a place where all eyes would not be on her. But the sky felt too empty, and the sea felt too full. Once Nimbus found a comfortable place, she sat until she was soaked through. Then she took a deep breath and prepared to come face to face with the cloud. Her cloud. But this time, she tried something new. The more Nimbus got to know her cloud, the less she wanted to pretend it wasn't there, or run from it, or bottle it up. Eventually, Nimbus felt ready to talk, but she didn't know where she would find someone who wanted to listen. To her surprise, someone found her. The friends were excited to have found each other, but they both felt a little unsure about where to begin. So Nimbus took a deep breath and introduced Kelp to her cloud. The more Kelp got to know the cloud, the more comfortable Nimbus became with the idea of sharing it with him. So comfortable that everything she had wanted to talk to her friend about finally burst forth. It turned out Kelp was a very good listener. The friends took their time heading back to the beach. They talked about the sky and the sea and how nervous Nimbus was to see everyone again. When they finally reached the shore, Nimbus had butterflies in her stomach and a cloud above her head. But this time, she didn't mind if everyone noticed. Nimbus knew that some days would be all sunshine and rainbows, and others would be a little more... cloudy. But maybe, just maybe, those days would be better if they were weathered together.